www.calvarysc.org. In this week's commentary, Jason Rosenbaum looks at the different hats Warren Hearns wore, that of lawmaker, governor, and judge. I ventured down to Springfield, Missouri this weekend for a wedding of two college friends. The groom recently received his law degree from MU. The bride, who is the daughter of a prominent Springfield attorney, is in her second year of law school. So it wasn't exactly a huge shock that a cavalcade of barristers were in attendance. Although they are apparently attached to southwest Missouri weddings, lawyers often pop up outside the courtroom. While the word pervasive possesses a negative connotation, it may be an appropriate adjective to describe the widespread participation of lawyers in the political process. Some, such as Columbia Mayor Darwin Hyman, Missouri Governor Jay Nixon, and President Barack Obama, are in executive leadership positions. Others toil as elected representatives, legislative aides, judges, and political operatives. But one attorney who especially stood out in the political realm was Warren Hearns, a former lawmaker, governor, and judge. He climbed up the political ladder fast after leaving the United States Army, as he won elections as a legislator, secretary of state, and governor in a relatively swift time period. As chief executive, he oversaw a boost in state aid to education and signed into law a state civil rights bill. And while he was governor, a new apparatus was constructed to assist Missourians with mental illnesses. Although he was a Democrat, Hearns wasn't always afraid to grapple with powerful elements of his party. In order to become governor, Hearns defeated a Democratic candidate backed by the outgoing chief executives. He also wasn't afraid to get into sparring matches with then-president Lyndon Johnson, a man well-known for possessing a pungent temperament. Beyond a brief tenure as a circuit judge in southeast Missouri, Hearns' political career petered out after he left office in 1972. But even as memories of the 1960s and 1970s dissipate, Hearns' legacy endures. His name graces a sports stadium on the University of Missouri-Columbia campus. And beyond symbolic gestures, Hearns will be remembered for presiding as governor when major changes were made to core facets of state government. It's certain that the aspiring lawyers who attended the aforementioned wedding possess aspirations for success. If any of them follow in Hearns' trajectory, they will have accomplished that goal. I'm Jason Rosenbaum. The public is invited to all of the memorial services for Governor Hearns. Details can be found on our website. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Talking Politics. Remember, podcasts of this show and all of our shows are available at kbia.org. I'm Sarah Whitmire.